I am back by popular demand, presenting to you Dr. and Jackery Damages. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York City is so great that a New York City police officer was caught on camera using a stolen credit card to buy items in stores. Wow! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the a police officer, he joined NYPD in January of this year. And guess where she stole the card from? <laughs> yeah, she stole the card from the purse of a fellow police officer. Yeah, why, why, they, why they were in training, yeah. <laughs> and guess what, the topic of the training was be your brother's and sister's keeper. Oh my God. So I guess, I guess she took it to mean that you can keep their credit card too. <laughs> I know, I know. The 27-year-old officer has since resigned. This doesn't happen in Nigeria. But anyway, she resigned. You, we understand that she got a new job already. Wow. As, as Donald Trump's law and other consultants. Wow. That's where you go. Once you mess up, you go down. <laughs> now, if you think that New York City is crazy, move a bit up to Portland, Maine. Have you been there before? Yeah. Portland is a wonderful place, you know, all white people. <laughs> now, 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 there a man was arrested for dressing as a tree and wow. blocking traffic. Yeah. What? No the man, the man, yeah. The man was named Woodworth. <laughs> yeah, which, which is appropriate, you know, if you think about it. And, and he said he just wanted to know how people will react seeing a tree moving. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. He, the man said, I feel a close kinship with trees. Are you not surprised? That is so <laughs> now, now, I believe he proposed to a tree the other day. Yeah. The day before, before that thing, yeah. And he was looking forward to their wedding. Why, why wouldn't the police yeah. people leave, leave this man alone, you know? Yeah. Now, police had to remove dozens of pine branches in order to locate his identification card. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they cleared his face so that they could take a picture of him, you know, the booking yeah. picture. They leave the man alone, you know? Now, in these days, these last days before the election, we in America will talk about anything, just anything, so long as we don't talk about the election. Are you not, are you not surprised? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are exhausted. Mm -hmm. We want you to just come and go away mm -hmm. so that we can go back to talk about more important things, yes. like uh, keeping up with the, the Kim Kardashian <laughs> and, and which other black people uh, are being killed by police. That's, that's what we want to talk about. But yeah, <laughs> we want to get this election out of the way. Yes. Now, having said that, so, how is Donald Trump doing in this election? <laughs> it's only one week to the election. Yes, oh. Only one week. The last uh -huh. poll before the election. Uh, yeah, I don't know who I'm with. <laughs> the last poll before the election says that 49% of American voters are supporting Hillary Clinton. What? 49%. She just cannot crack that 50, over 50. No. And then um, that um, the third, third, third party candidate, what's his name again? Uh, Johnson, Johnson. That one has 5%. You know that? Yeah. And, and, and then Donald Trump has a whooping 39%. Yeah. No, no, they are supporting uh, Trump TV, not, not Trump. Trump TV. That's what they are supporting. <laughs> I know, I know. I know by now you all know what the real deal is. Yes. Donald Trump has started his own TV network. Yeah, it's called uh, TNN, TNN, Trump I News I Network. They are hiring, and some people here are trying to go over there. <laughs> now, it will save America from this bias and crooked mainstream media that we have now. That's what Trump wow. said. Now, at Trump's TV station, women will stand this way. Everybody. <laughs> you, you, if you're a woman, you just have to, because, because the octopus hand of Trump might just, you know, so you have to. <laughs> now, if Oprah has her own network, why not Donald Trump? Why not? So no matter what happens on November 8th, Trump is already a winner. He will be president. Uh, now, he may not be of the United States, but he will be president. You know, the president of Trump TV. So it's your heart, Obama. It's your heart. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. <laughs> now, talking about people living, African countries are leaving the international criminal court in droves. Wow. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. 
First, it was Burundi. They voted to leave. They said, we're out of here. Then followed by South Africa. <laughs> of course, Jacob Zuma, you know, he's afraid of being tried in the international court. This week, it was Gambia. Oh. Well, no surprise there. Did you see the trend? Oh, wow. That's the trend. Before you know it, the only African country that will still be left in ICC will be ones that um, where the government do not kill their own citizens. Oh. And let me see which countries There's are no this. There's no such thing, doctor. No, nobody, nobody. <laughs> nobody. Nobody will be left. Now, by the way, who asked these African countries to sign this uh, ICC oh, no. treaty? Yeah? When the American Congress refused to rectify it. Mm -hmm. Now, let me, this is a free advice to you African countries. Dear African countries, before you sign any treaty, nuclear, climate, witchcraft, <laughs> whichever treaty they bring to you, check if the American Congress, if they have signed off on it. Come on, if, it's not come on. if not, run. Because, because if it's not run. good, if it's not good enough for the Americans, I'm telling you, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. If you doubt me, ask them in Uganda. <laughs> I know Uganda will soon sign the thing, you know, because <laughs> Museveni doesn't, he, he's scared. Now, the people of Uganda, they carry dead bodies on Okada. No, I'm not, only in Africa, I'm not making, look, look at it. Savages. Pictures like this make you thank God that you are a Nigerian. You are from West Africa. <laughs> so, you know, some just say it quietly that they are, they are glad that they are Nigerians. But others, they dance to express their joy. Watch. <laughs> you see the man? This is my man. This is this is a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He's expressing his joy. Now he's, a, he's, he's a, a, if that man had been eating the kind of food they give our soldiers in the war front. He won't be able to shake and bend down and shake his body this way. He no. won't be able. And he's a senator. He, do, he doesn't care. Like no, I cannot. And this man, you know. <laughs> now, 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 with what Nigeria is doing to the share, you know, the share of uh, Nigeria, watch, yeah. watch what they're doing to them. <laughs> With what they are doing to the Biafrans, watch. As you can see now, they have just disorganized the Biafrans, the peaceful protesters, while they are shooting at them. Can you see that? Can you see that? This is terrible. With what they are doing to people who disrespected the demons in Asso Rock. I'm talking about this one, this one, and this one. I doubt if Nigeria won't be the next on the list of African countries that will leave the ICC. Oh, yes. Why, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? But we are not going to know this because now President Buhari is busy celebrating. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh yes, you must have heard the news. Yes. President Buhari's daughter got married last Friday. Hey, she 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 last Friday? No, 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 no. When I heard the news, I thought was it Zara? Was it, uh, immediately I got, I got worried. I got worried. But then I said to myself, you know, if this was to be Zara getting married the to a former banker. You should be one of and we them. know because El Rufai must have slumped down somewhere on yes. hearing the news. That would be my signal that, that, Zara, <laughs> that Zara is getting married. No, no, I'm not interested in Zara. No, I have Aisha. I, I have Aisha my Aisha. I have Aisha my Aisha. Anyway, anyway, the wedding was beautiful. It was a beautiful event. It took place, mm. where else? Dara, yes. Casina State. Yeah. And amongst the important guests that came, was um, the executive governor of Kaduna State, Malam El Rufai, was also present. Of course, he had an eye. He he has an eye on something there. He's, he was there to look at his uh, his thing. Now, during the event, he had a private chat with President Buhari. Mm. He, did you see the picture? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was saying to he said to Buhari, you know, what about the other one? Buhari said, which other one? And El Rufai said, ah, the main one. <laughs> Buhari said, until I see your access declaration forms. Ooh. Don't even, don't even go there. Okay. Uh, immediately he frowned his face. I don't blame him. We all know in life, you know, why some people are frowning their faces. Some are smiling all the way to Please. Oxford. Yes! Do you, do, do you remember that book, Eze Goes to School? Yes! Yeah, yeah. Later there was this one, Ayo Goes to School. Really? And then uh, yeah. there was this one, Ali Goes to School. Everybody went to school. Wow. So it was inevitable that sooner or later, Jonathan would go to Oxford. Oh my wow. God. Yeah. So former President Goodlord Jonathan went to Oxford. 
I know it was like a Sophia in London. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, well, it happened last week. During that visit, he made the greatest speech of his life. Watch. That the nation's wealth is not underneath the ground, but between the years. The wealth of nations are uh, the not mineralized in the soil. I know. Isn't that wonderful? Look. At, at Oxford, Jonathan told innocent students, I was elected to spread wealth, not poverty. <laughs> I know, I know. Jolly, jolly. I know, I know. <laughs> he thought that expression was so cute. <laughs> but, but if you think of it, he did. He spread wealth yes, to the Olesan Metos, yes, the Dasukis, yes, the Olufalais, yes. and it tickled, tickled, tickled down to the poor. Like you, 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 you. <laughs> He also told Oxford students that the former National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuke, did not steal $2.2 billion. Oh, no, 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 listen. He said that Dasuke, acting on his directive, mm. used the money to create wealth. What? Now, now, I tell you, I tell you, 100 years from now, the Nobel Committee will regret not giving this man the Nobel Prize mm. for peace and for economics in one year. It, they will regret it because, because this is an opportunity for them to show, you know. Now, for those confused about this Buhari's talk about fighting corruption, mm. Jonathan said, and I quote, we fought corruption without making noise. Mm. Isn't that, isn't, oh, did you hear noise when he was there about corruption? Other than when he said that um, stealing is not corruption. There was no noise. Oh. No. He assured his audience that today's corruption noise it's all about medicine after death. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> now, the highlight of his speech was when he told his audience that as president, I worked for the next generation and not for the next elections. I know. Are you not surprised? Are you not impressed? Yeah, no. Now, he was lucky that none of the students there got off their video games to Google James Friedman yeah, Clark. No, he was lucky no, because Jonathan helped himself with James Friedman Clark's line that said, a politician thinks of the next election, a statesman of the next generation. That was, that was a quote. He just, he just, he just, this is, this is how he did his uh, PhD. He just copied something and turned it upside down, you know. Now, now, being a shy man, Jonathan was not bold enough to complete the statement. He just had no balls to say, I am a statesman. That's what he was implying, but he couldn't say. And, and I guess I know why. <laughs> it must be those demons in Asso Rock. It must be. It must be. You know, you know, Asso Rock Villa demons were minding their own business, dealing with men and disabling the, the thing down their waist. Mm. And then Ruben Abati woke them up. Did you know about the essay he wrote? Wow. He woke them up. Ooh. And now we know the result. Yes. The demons, they fought back. Yay. Where is Ruben now today? He is in the hands of the EFCC. Yay. Yay. Imagine that. If, if, <laughs> if not that demons are working overtime, especially those that, that work with their heads upside down, you know, they, they work with their heads. Mm -hmm. Why would the EFCC be troubling Ruben Abati with, yeah. for just 50 wow. million naira? Just. That is not up to the money that a, a senator gives to the girlfriend for Christmas <laughs> or for Salah. What, what? I tell you, I tell, these demons, they, they are wicked. Wicked demons. They are wicked. Now, being that I know Ruben, you know, Ruben is my friend. I know he will want me to tell you all this. Don't cry for me, Nigerians. <laughs> I know that I might have disappointed you. Look at the good side. By the time I come out, I must have completed that manuscript. <laughs> you know, you know, by the time he's out, he must have finished this new book he's writing. The title is This Nigerian Life Self. Yeah. Is he not copying somebody's title or something? What, what is yeah. wrong with him? Anyway, anyway, the latest news, <laughs> the latest news from Ruben is that the 50 million he got mm -hmm. from Dasuki was for Christmas and Salah festivals. That's what he told the EFCC. He said that das Dasuki what? gave that money to him for Christmas and Salah festivals. Wow. You know, that, that explains it. Life. That explains it. Now it all makes sense, you know? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking, why we Ruben? Why? But yes, Salah, Christmas, of course. How much did you get from uh, Sahara for Salah? Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> Talking about this Nigerian life, last week, the once healthy and vibrant Femi Fani Kayode collapsed. Sorry, sorry, that's too dramatic. He slumped in uh, EFCC's custody. Did you hear the news? What? The man that, you know, he can deal with 10 women. I, okay, sorry, I, I'm good. Uh, I, the, anyway, he collapsed. <laughs> it wasn't that, you know, he wasn't, no, there was no chance oh. for him to. No, no, he just collapsed. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Timothy Jones, do you know what I mean? I know. When I, when I heard the story, I said, look here, my friend. Mm. Don't frighten those coming behind you. Mm. Many are called and few have arrived. Mm. So be strong, my man. Be strong. That's don't it. be like the, the likes of Obanikoro. Don't, don't scare them away. Mm. Let them come home. You know, just, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> this is a segment we call Secrets of Nature. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Words. Good, good, good. So the picture you're looking at, this picture, is a picture of a pastor. What a pastor did to his maid. Mm. Look at, look at it. Look at, look at it. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Abomination. Why, doctor? Why? It's terrible. Now, hey. A pastor, and and every Sunday he will climb the pulpit and scream, "Praise the Lord!" Hey, oh. Praise the Lord! Now, How did they say it? <laughs> it's not those who say, "My Lord, My Lord," that will. Get to the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Of, oh, it's not. Oh, uh, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's people who do the kind of thing that you know. You know what I mean? Mm. The things that they do. <laughs> now, the next picture you're looking at is a picture of um, the the central bank governor consulting the cabals. Mm. This this happened long ago in Washington D.C. Okay. Now, now the only way we're going to know what happened in that meeting. And how much money they shared. It's only when Atiku becomes the president, come to 2019. Hey, <laughs> Let me laugh again. When Atiku becomes the president, who wrote this crap? <laughs> who wrote this crap? In what year? In what generation? Anyway, uh, here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Bag of rice will sell for 5,000 naira. Dollar will exchange for 150 naira. And fuel will be 30 naira, says a prophet. Oh, Did wow. you hear that? No, you didn't. No, no. Oh, yeah, your life will be better. The only thing is, the only thing is that the man, the man has a malaria that is untreated. Oh. And is resistant to chloroquine and all this queen. Yeah. That's, that's the problem with that man. You know, oh, people no, don't understand. I'm, I'm just trying to explain it to people because I know you've been celebrating, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we need 220, no, oh, wait, wait, wait. 222 billion to conduct census 2018, says the Nigerian Population Commission. Did you hear that? Wow. 222 billion naira. Now, now, why don't we share the money using the quadratic equation? You know, it is simple. If this X number of Nigerians share 222 billion naira and they get this amount, you can find the number of Nigerians we have. Don't you know that? Mm -hmm. You can use that equation. Exactly. No need to. You just get the money. Share it. Every Nigerian, take your money. And then yes. at the end, we calculate it and find the number of Nigerians we have. Oh. You see, that's, it's good to be that's, that's, that's a scientist. Also. This is this how to do things, you know, modern ways. You don't have to count people one by one. Share the money, and then we do. Share the wealth. Yeah. <laughs> so Ali Dikwa says that Khan paid him one million naira to keep quiet Chai. over Jonathan's seven billion naira to Christian Association of Nigeria. Listen this. Jonathan paid Christian Association of Nigeria seven billion. The man said that that, that period. He said he saw the money. But they paid him one million naira to keep quiet. Oh. Now, what is the percentage? <laughs> this man, this man doesn't know a man. Oh. Seven billion was given, and you got only one million, eh? and you kept quiet. By the way, clap for yourself, great man of God, great man of God. Man of God. He, he's going to make heaven. He will be the, he will be the first on the door, and you know, knocking you know. <laughs> Nonsense. Seven billion, and you took one million. Can you? Who knows math here? Can you calculate the percentage? It's like zero point zero 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 percent. Damn. <laughs> Amechi can't bribe judges. He is a true 
child of God, says River State APC. Did you read the story? Yeah. You know, there's this accusation that Amechi governor, uh, former governor Amechi, now minister, bribed judges to rule eh, for in support of APC. Now, APC in River State is saying that, oh, he can't do something like that. He's a man of God. I say, God don't suffer. Eh? Yeah. As if Clifford Oji oh. was not a man of God. Do you know Clifford Oji? Clifford Oji now. Yeah, the one that. Yeah. Ah, you know him. <laughs> it's your brother, I think he's from. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as if he's not a man, a child of God. Nonsense. There is a level of mental illness in Nigeria. I'm like, what, what is he saying? That, you know, I doubted it until I read uh, Ruben Nabati's uh, best-selling book. Did you see that? Tales Out of Asorok. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's a best-selling book. I didn't know that there is actually mental illness all over, even in Asorok. Hey. Is that, is that, is that the the moment you start seeing people walking with their heads, you just see your doctor. <laughs> I'm telling, I said, doctor, I'm telling you, if, if you see something like that, just go and see your doctor. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing else going on there. <laughs> Presidency orders probe of Buhari's chief of staff. Hey, Did you hear that? Trouble. Over the fact that he was bribed. There was an allegation of bribery. Now, Ooh. guess who signed the order? The same man. The same man, the chief of staff. <laughs> so you can guess where the whole thing will go. You know, it's going to go well. He will, you know, he will make it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In fact, he's going to drive the people who will probe him and give them food. You know, he will take care of everything. Hey. It will come out all right. <laughs> I sacrificed human head as advised by a mad woman, says a nice. suspect. Yeah, no, this is, this is a big story. The man is saying that he, he was the advice of a mad woman that hey. made. No, no, you have to give it to this man. You know, this is not just a case of stupid criminal. No, 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 no. This is a mental case. At least he didn't blame the devil. I have respect for him, unlike those people who will say, the devil made me do. He said a mad woman. Have you listened to a mad woman before? Not really. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then you are not, I don't understand. You don't, you don't have mental issues. <laughs> Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. <laughs> Yeah. Email. Just welcome back. We are yeah, back. We are back. You know, this is another week. We do this every week. We, every week. we just want to Check make you happy. Out, you, know? Eh? you know, that's it. <laughs> so, do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, let's hear them. Please. Okay, our first email is from Tijani Ishmael from Lagos. Tijani. Nigeria. Tijani is my friend now. Of you know, course, we used to drink pan wine. No, no, not everybody. This one, we used to drink pan wine. Sure. Under the bridge in Ikeja, mm -hmm. you know, a long time ago. Go ahead. I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, he writes. Okay. Hi, Dr. Damages. Yes, ma'am. I am a diehard fan of yours. I told and you. And I have viewed your episodes. But on Aisha Buhari's comment, uh -huh. I felt she was biased. Uh oh. Even in the court of law, a wife is not allowed to witness against her husband. What? Most of the government's appointments are based on referrals. Oh. It is not post. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Didn't know that. Exactly. Why was I not referred? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> he said it is not possible for Buhari's family to know everything or everybody in Dwara. What? Mm -hmm. Not to talk of Nigeria. If you have a wife that does not belong to the kitchen, uh -uh. the sitting room, and uh -uh. the other room, uh -uh. my dear, go and we marry. What? Because you are still a bachelor. What? I stand with Baba Buhari. Ooh. My regards to you and crew. For oh. your sin. Yeah. Tell her to be real for once. Yeah. A kitty lady that cannot pronounce Yoruba names correctly. Uh, 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 hey! Wait, wait, wait. Tijani, Tijani, Tijani. tijani. <laughs> no. no, first of all, I showed you an email to Mamudoka. Hmm. She has not spoken to me since then. Eh? Not to talk about going to the other room. In fact, in fact, I am still in the doghouse. <laughs> You know, because because this is a family show. Mm -hmm. I don't want to repeat the colorful words that she used to describe you. Hmm. You know, but about who is Toyo? See that she, the, he's talking about. I don't know who is Toyo. See, maybe he's talking about tomato juice. Oh, maybe he's confusing. And Are I'm you not a kid, from a kid? A kid? <laughs> I'm not even Nigerian. Do your homework. Yeah? Go back and watch the episodes, guys. But, but maybe maybe it's maybe uh, there's a Toyo. See, yeah, maybe it's that. What is that show again? That 
rested DJ? show. The gist? The gist! Oh! Doctor! Shame! Now. What are you saying? The it's rested, rested show. No, no, it's... Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. Next, 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 huh. next, next. Our second email is from Bede Michael Emerson. Ah, ah. Well, I think I know him. What is that? Michael Emerson? Oh, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. What does he want now? He writes, mm -hmm. Dr. Damages, I yes, want to ask man. you. Okay. What kind of doctor are you? Ah. I saw where you are posing with our presido. Why Yet he has never himself? given you the opportunity to care to cure him of his ear infection. <laughs> now, my, my <laughs> doctor. Now I understand that. Okay. Now mouth infection has joined the ear oh, infection. Uh, uh, Please ask him the next time you see him uh, what he means by the other one. Uh, uh, Does it mean that our presido is still doing it? <laughs> Whatever it means. Uh, well, well, my man, my man. Listen, the president is a man. <laughs> As we said last week on this show, mm -hmm. he used to boogie down. Remember their picture? So, so, so don't say why. You know, as for the ear situation, hmm. I diagnosed him. You know, it is left for him to heal himself. Heal himself. That's it. <laughs> I did my job when I got near him. I, it saw the way he looked at me. I did my job. It's left for him to <laughs> heal himself. Next. Our final email is from Victor Barshima. Ah, are you sure it's not the other Victor? Okay. okay. Which Victor? Ah, the, one, hey! the one that must not be mentioned. Hey! I was going to say it, but then I thought we, about we it. We are not allowed to mention that. Hey! Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh -huh. What did okay. he say? Let's say. Maybe that Victor. He right. Mm -hmm. Good day, doctor. Yes, my man. Doctors. Yeah. Congratulations on your 250th episode. Thank you. And keep up your good work. That, most people don't remember. It's not easy. What we do, it's not easy. <laughs> No. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> he said, and before I forget, uh, my regards to Superstar Tomato I, Joe. This is why we're LK. It's I not understand why. Now. I understand now. He said, regards to Sasha too. Ooh, and Sasha. the guy who writes this crap. <laughs> and the guy who tell you to do this. <laughs> he said he's one of our fans. Oh, thank you, Victor. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are the first person to remember the guy who writes this crap. Hey. Most people don't know. He's the most important fellow here. But often we underrate him. Hmm. Without his crap, there won't be any show. No show. Can you talk without the script? <laughs> we can't. Even the smile. Nothing. We just, we just feel like this. <laughs> they write the smile for her. They put up the <laughs> smile. <laughs> no, this type, this type. Anyway, this is all the time we have for Woo! emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. And on Instagram at Dr. Wow. Damages. We're everywhere. Wrote that too. We're everywhere. <laughs> they, they have to. They have to. Here's my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, hmm. Upside Down, hey. by John Berryman. And it says, We must travel in the direction of our fear. Hmm. Did, isn't that that deep? We must travel in the direction of our fear. Like you, you, you this is your fear about uh, being rich. You have to travel in that direction. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Uh, so, so what uh -huh. do you fear? What do you fear? Because you have to travel in the direction of your fear. What do you fear most? Like that you, you see a Brazilian hair we, we fall. <laughs> What do you fear? I fear heights. Ooh. That's why I've been traveling. Oh, you fear heights. So oh, that's a good. That's a good that's one. That's why I've been. Yeah. On it, the so point. you you like men? One guy actually said. Wait, wait, wait. I, mean, I like what? You like men who have height or who do not have height? No, like I'm this talking about heights, like oh, traveling. Oh, oh no! I was thinking that. I, I, you was, know, I was thinking about that. You know that you were talking it's about. It's not always man, man, man business, eh? Ah, it's, it could be business. <laughs> I, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this. Otherwise, there won't be, you know, things are hard. Watch watch more. I, in fact, there's somewhere I'm cooking a goose. Subscri also, subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe. Whatever they say, subscribe. Click on it. Please. <laughs> For me. For me. Nice. Thank you.